Tuck one end of the sari in the right side waist. Bring the sari over the waist a full circle and tuck the fabric throughout till you reach the right waist. Take the free flowing end and tuck a portion of it temporarily on the left waist and bring the pallu over towards the front. Make pleats and secure it on the left shoulder. Arrange the pleats thinner on the front to show the bodice prominently and secure another pin to the upper lining of the blouse. Fix the fabric tightly from the right side and secure pins along. Now adjust the pleats in the front. From the portion tucked temporarily and tuck it mid waist and secure it with a pin. Tuck one end of the sari in the right side waist. Bring the sari over the waist a full circle and tuck the fabric throughout till you reach the right waist. Take the free flowing end and tuck a portion of it temporarily on the left waist and bring the pallu over towards the front. Make pleats and secure it on the left shoulder. Arrange the pleats on the front and secure another pin to the upper lining of the blouse. Now fix a pin on the left waist with the border neatly arranged. Adjust the pleats in the front from the portion tucked temporarily. And tuck it mid waist and secure it with a pin. Adjust the pleats behind to give a neat look and use pins wherever necessary. Use a silk sari for this method. Tuck the end of the sari, non pallu end on the right side, and bring it around the waist to the back side. Tuck it in fully while doing the same. Bring it towards the front again and tuck it on the sides twice leaving some length of fabric in between as shown. Bring the sari around the waist again towards the front.
Now pleat the front end, pallu end, making as many pleats as needed. Now place the pleated pallu on the left shoulder and secure with a pin. Now make pleats with the fabric. Left in between the waist. Adjust the pleats in the front. And tuck it in as per the flow needed for the person's height. Adjust the fabric neatly near the waist. and then tuck it in the center. 